Hello mga kasambuhay! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are all over the world. Rated PG ang ating episode ngayon. Parental guidance ang kailangan. Ibig sabihin, kailangan gabayan natin yung ating mga anak. Dahil nakakakiliti po yung ating episode. Sexual wellness ang ating pong paksa. How important is sexual wellness to keep the fire burning in a relationship? Paano naman kung wala kang partner? How can you have sexual wellness? At paano naman yung mga senior citizens, di ba? Does age matter when it comes to sexual wellness? O, oh, ang dami nating mga tanong. Ang sasagot niya na yung nag-iisang Gloria Diaz, ang atin pong Miss Universe, at ang kanyang anak na si Isabel. Nandito tayo sa bahay nila. Kaya, punta na natin! Hi guys, eto na ang ating hinihintay, walang iba kung hindi ang owner ng Jelly Time, Isabel Diaz Daza. Hi, hi Isabel. Hi, Tito Jack. Thanks. Thank you so much for having me and featuring Jelly Time on your show. You started the business because of your advocacy. So my sister and I started uh, Jelly Time because mm-hmm. we've always wanted to kind of create a safe space where we can talk about sex and pleasure and not feel like it's bastos, mm. not feel like it's something that we should be ashamed about. Mm. Um, Jelly Time is really about removing the stigma of you know, sex and sexual wellness and mm. learning about our bodies. Paano niyo pinili yung brand the Jelly Time? We decided on that together and uh, we think it's pretty catchy. Naman. When we created the product, kasi, we wanted something that you won't be ashamed of having in your toiletry case, your mm. bedside table. If makita ng ibang tao, they're not gonna be like. Ugh. So we want something that looks like a product in your beauty shelf. Then. So your vision yo for your company. So our vision is to be the number one most trusted sexual wellness brand in the Philippines. We want to empower our clients mm. with our products, and of course we have competitors. But our you know edge over them is that. At Jelly Time, we really test all our products. Mm-hmm. It goes through a very rigorous research and development process. We have FDA approval, which takes almost 18 months. Um, and then we, of course, safety, right? Mm. We, we focus on the safety for that. So, and of course, it's cute. I love the bubble, mm-hmm. okay, because this is, we call it a pleasure companion. Mm-hmm. This is not intimidating. Anybody who's never owned a sexual wellness toy um, can start with a bobble. Okay. It's an external toy. It's very aesthetically pleasing. So mm. you see it around your house, you're not going to be like, ooh, scared. Mm. It's like a massager. So it could be a personal massager, actually. <laughs> Part of people can use it on, on their face. But basically, this is on a woman's you know, vulva. She mm. uses it on top. It's external. Of course, our hero product is Jelly Time. Why is a hero product? Because this is really the reason why we started our company. My mm. sister, when she was like five or five years ago, she came to me and she told me, I want you to try this. It's lube. Mm. So I didn't know what lube is. What mm. is a lubricant? I I don't need that. So mm. just try it. When I tried it, I said, wow, it's actually really enhances your you know, intimate life. Mm. And then, Pero me, kasi I'm very conscious ko anong nilalagay ko sa katawang ko. So I want things organic, healthy. Mm. Ngayon, papunta na tayo dun, di ba? Um, she said, what if we make one? And then mm. sabi ko, possible kaya yun? And then it took us, siguro mga, a little less than two years para may develop yung formula na gusto namin. Because we wanted something na hindi sticky, mm-hmm. hindi masyadong malagkit, hindi no? mabilis mag-dry up. We wanted something that was odorless. And then we wanted something that we could be proud of. Yeah. So, ang tagal talaga namin and we tried de- de- a lot of different formulations. Kaya na, nagka-three kids na ako after. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we came up with this one which is all natural, water-based siya, and FDA approved. Mm-hmm. 
this one is the chinchilla. Um, the reason why we call it chinchilla because it looks like a little pet mm -hmm. with bunny ears. It's for clitoral stimulation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women actually in the Philippines especially, hindi nila alam kung ano ang clitoris, mm -hmm. which is basically a part in your vulva that um, where you can orgasm or climax. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know this topic is something that people are parang they, hindi sila comfortable. You know what I also try to explain to people, sexual wellness is not just about having sex or you know, the act. Mm. Sexual wellness starts when we're children, when we learn about our bodies. Mm. Tapos, you know, as we become teenager, when we get our period, mm -mm. Right? When we go into puberty. Mm -mm. All of that encompasses sexual wellness. So, at Jolly Time, we really want na to help educate. And oh. wala tayong natutunan na sex sa ed. school. Diba? Oh. May natutunan right. ka ba in school? Right. Pero how's your mom in terms of educating you when you were growing up? I think my mom was very conservative but also she knew that we had to learn about sex. Mm. So parang she didn't want us to have sex but she Gave educated you the... us. Here in the Philippines, gusto talaga namin na to empower people. Kasi there's so many unwanted mm. teenage preg mm. pregnancies. And then, sa atin, ang culture natin is patay Malaysia. Kung hindi natin pinapag-usapan, baka hindi nangyayari. And then, bigla na lang, ay, buntis mm. na pala this. And I'm not saying that it's bad. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is, we need to empower people with choices. Mm -hmm. And the first step is talking about sexual wellness, di ba? Mm -hmm. And what is this feeling of you know, arousal. What is the act of doing it? This is the deuce. This is your latest, no? This is the latest. This is the one that's more phallic, which means it looks more like a penis. Para siya nakakatakot. It is nakakatakot. That, that looks true. And I think that this is intimidating for a lot hmm. of, of people. Pero we also have a lot of customers who only want this. Talaga? Yes. It's two-way stimulation because this one um, stimulates the clitoris. But okay. you know what, Tita Jen? It is the only one which will be inserted, right? Yes. The others kasi sa labas. Lang. Yes, yeah. Okay. With our toys, we learn so much about our consumers. We mm. learn that there are people talaga na alam na alam ang mundo ng sex, toys, pleasure companions, and mm. And there are people na wala talagang alam. Never mm. pa silang nag-try. They don't know yung mga parts ng vagina or vulva. Anatomy. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. For us, shocking because that's part of you eh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> diba? Mm -hmm. Imagine, it's, we learn about our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Correct. Pero correct, our correct. most intimate part, we don't actually know. Hindi nila alam ito, pero it's a great thing to help you sleep. Because mm -hmm. when you climax, you release endorphins and certain hormones like serotonin that helps you relax. If you want to help change more life, don't forget to click the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel para updated kayo sa ating episodes at new content.
siya bastos, mm. hindi siya porno. Mm-hmm. This is about your wellness mm-hmm. and empowering people. So if you don't see that, then it's hard for us to explain right, it right, further, right. Diba? So we've had people who come up to us and we're like, wow, sobrang ganda ng product nyo. You know, I use it all the time. Mm-hmm. And they're conservative. And mm-hmm. it's all inclusive. You know, we're part of the community, the LGBT commun- yes, community. Yes, correct. They love it. Um, there's, we feel their support. Online, kahit na anong edad, di ba? Pwedeng bumili. Yes. So are you worried about that? Na... Marami kaming na encounter na roadblocks. Mm. For example, advertising online. Mm. Sometimes it can, ayaw ng mga tao because they think papunta na sa pornography mm. or masyadong bastos. Mm-hmm. So with Jelly Time, we try to keep everything very tasteful. Something na hindi ka ma- sobrang mabibigla. Mm-hmm. It's still pleasing to the eye. It still talks about sex education. It still talks about wellness. Yeah, and we're learning din ah. We don't mm. know everything about and right. we're like, ah, okay, hindi pala to pwede sa Facebook ad. Mm-mm. Kailangan Mm-mm. ibang approach. Mm-mm. Of course, nothing, none of this would be possible without my sister, Ava, who's Mm-mm. behind the scenes. Yes. Pero she does lahat ng mga dirty works. Advice ko sa mga people na gustong mag-start up or mag-start ng kanilang business, kailangan, kailangan talaga merong pang everyday na person who will run your operations, which is my sister. Mm-hmm. And then, kung anong skill na wala yung partner mo, which is, I think I compliment her, which mm-hmm. is more on the marketing, the mm-hmm. PR, the forward facing of the brand. Ako yung, you know, communicate about, I communicate about Jelly Time. I think we complement each other in that way. Do you need to try all of these products? So me, my sister, our immediate family, my mom, um, and our friends. And then everybody gives feedback. So for example, ah. for this lube, mm. It took us maybe 20 to 25 different formulations mm. to get this exact consistency. Because um, it doesn't necessarily only for sex. There was somebody who was biking, he gets chafing in his in his um, thighs, he put lube. Um, so yeah, I, I think it it's an all-around personal lubricant. Hindi nila alam ito, pero it's a great thing to help you sleep. Because when you climax, you release endorphins and certain hormones like serotonin that helps you relax. Since you're a startup, diba? So, dami niyo pang dreams for your business. And the logistics is yes. a very important part of yes. it. Yes. So, paano yung partnership niyo with Entrego? How yes. does Entrego help you? So, actually, my advice for people who are putting up a business is you need the right partner for your logistics. Why? Kasi, you can have a great brand, you can have great products, pero if hindi niyo deliver. Mm. Wala din, right? So, Entrego is a great partner dahil they have a, an amazing pick and pack system. Um, pag may nawalang package, natatrack nila kaagad at binabalik sa amin. And we've just really grown to trust them. Gusto natin mangyari sa tinutulungan natin yung mga customer natin, mm. needs, me, uh, small, medium, and, and micro even, na mm. madeliver yung mga shipment nila with a reliable and effective logistics mm. solution. Maliit sila hanggang sa lumaki. Kaya in fact, Ms. Ching, meron kaming tagline, no? from you to there. So, ginagawa namin from, from yung delivery namin kung nasaan ka man and madeliver namin siya nationwide. As our company grows, our logistics and Entrego grows with us. So, hopefully, when we go international, you know, Entrego will fulfill those orders internationally. I mean, okay lang. There are some who live and die and they have never experienced something yummy. <laughs> If you want to help change more lives, don't forget to click the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel para updated kayo sa ating episodes at new content. Alam mo na ba kung ano ang love language mo? Narito ang top 5 Valentine's gift ideas mula sa TikTok na tiyak na magugustuhan ninyo. Pero alam mo na ba kung ano ang love language mo? Check your love language na, kasambuhay! Kaya naman narito ang top 5 Valentine's gift ideas mula sa TikTok.
ka na ba ng gift ideas? Kung wala pa, magandang regalo rin naman ang pagbibigay ng oras sa iyong partner at baka sapat na sa kanya ang presence mo sa araw ng mga puso. Welcome back mga kasambuhay, usapang sexual wellness pa rin tayo at makakasama natin ngayon, the original, ang nag-iisang Miss Universe, Miss Gloria Diaz. Ano na tawag ko, Tita Glow? Whatever, Lola Glow. <laughs> Lola Glow. Lola, <laughs> okay parang lang. hindi bagay, o bati muna. Hello, good day to everyone and um, yes. <laughs> Women empowerment, social wellness, Oo everything, nga. sexual wellness. Sexual wellness. Yes. Nag-viral recently, speaking of sexual wellness, no, yung inyong post na nagpo-promote ng Jelly Time Toys. Ito yung inyong mga Jelly Time Toys, sex toys. It's not a big deal. Mm. I mean, all women should enjoy. There's no such thing anymore as nakakahiya or anything. Baka okay, sabihin, this is my favorite. Bupa ano, no, ito pala. Yan it's a toss-up between the two. Okay. Why? Why is that your favorite? Because you can massage everything, <laughs> like I said before. Although this is kind of, you know, interesting. Mm. Show you how does it go. Pag so, sinong nagtuturo sa inyo gumamit niya? Siyempre naman, if you have a partner, you, you can <laughs> learn. But even if you don't have, oh. diba, you can. I mean, mm. this, this one was a little bit new to me. My, when my daughter said, Mama, you have to try it. Mm. Being, I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay lang this, this is masarap, hmm. diba? This is masaya. Oh. And you can be experimental. But this one, you have all kinds of feelings. Hmm. But then, I realized, hey, you'll be surprised. My friends all want it. But um, more than anything, I'm, I feel healthy hmm. and alive. And you feel beautiful. Yes, that diba? helps. Oh, diba? <laughs> yeah, that helps. Tawag nito dos, but... Hmm. I have no idea how to use this part. So you haven't tried it? No, okay. no, no. This so one which ones have you tried? This one? This both. Okay. And gel. And so I, I am ba? their um, taste tester. <laughs> taste. Okay, trial, trial. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Gano kahalagang sexual wellness sa isang babae? O, babae muna tayo. Um... More than anything, more mahalaga is to have the right partner, okay? And if you don't have a partner, attitude. Because you can enjoy by yourself. Mm. I mean, kahit papano, you're still a human being mm. with all the extra sensory nerves and everything and senses. So always you're saying, explaining about sex. Everything. About everything I always about. tell them. First of all, I ride eh, hindi ba? Mm. So I would show Isabel, oh, you see, this is the way they have another horse. So mm. it, it's a very, it could if you put it or present it to your children as bastos, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound nice, mm -hmm. right? But if you present it as, oh, they'll have a little pony, you'll have a little baby, oh, this is a blessing, but life. that is not, that's a privilege. Mm -hmm. Parang part of life yan. Mm -hmm. it's, when was the first time you encountered the sex toys or you were open enough to try them? 
The day that Bell said, that Ava said, Mama, I want to tell you something. What is it? I was scared. What will she tell me? No, because we want to get into a business, you know, with the sex toys and all. Oh, I said that's great. I I didn't know much about so you it. She did get shocked. Huh? Bakit naman sex toys of all the of all businesses? Hindi naman. Hindi naman, naman ako na shock. I'm not easy to shock. <laughs> okay. So what was the first thing you asked them? Ah, really? So how are you? I had no idea about how they will market it, or they'll put it on Lazada or mm-hmm. in, uh, Mercury mm-hmm. or in whatever Shumart, whatever. I, so I, gut I, feel I no you, idea. it will work. It will no, sell. No, no. I never take for granted that it will sell. I, I felt it could be a good thing because, hey, it will help women be comfortable with their body. So what's your message to the conservatives? How will you convince them to, to use these products? What is that very um, famous quote? Try it, you like it, <laughs> or <laughs> something to that thing, you know? So um, just try. You don't have to use it on anything sexual. Hey, it's mm. even good for my double chin. <laughs> What's your advice to Ava and Belle? As far as um, these products are concerned, diba, as a satisfied customer, meron ba kayong tips na, oh, you should do this pa, you should... No, uh, they have podcasts mm. that basically talks about hygiene, health, mm. enjoyment, women empowerment, this product, yeah. um, gel, jelly, mm-hmm. because but they also are planning to get into the medical because this has zero um, preservatives, it's mm. aloe, it's very pure and all, it's like water. They're getting into that and they're not man focused only on sex. Mm, they have correct. many things. Bell also does aerobic stuff and mm. all kinds of stuff and ice cream, uh, no, ice cream, milk teas and stuff. So what is important is that they're enjoying what they're doing yeah. now and they're doing something better and better and better. And hopefully, I could use a smaller one pa. So you can put it for cocktail parties, just in case, di ba? <laughs> Akala ko ba, bigger one, yung pala smaller Hindi one. Hindi naman. <laughs> There's something uh, Filipinos need. Babae o lalaki, regardless of age, regardless of socioeconomic class. Uh, Filipinos, don't worry, they're taking care of themselves. Ang feeling ko, especially the young, the young millennials, with the internet, with computers, they seem to be very well informed. Sabi mo nga, no, everything's on the internet. Paano yung mga bata na magkaka-access dito? Well, in the beginning, when they're very young, I think they just play. It's just a vibrator to play with or whatever. Mm. It's really not for kids. There's mm. such a thing as for adults, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or for um, at least 16, 17. But you'll be surprised how children are so aware mm, exactly. of everything. Mm. So may guidance pa rin dapat. Yes, yes. So won't it encourage uh, premarital sex sa mga teenagers? Hindi nga eh. It will discourage pa nga if you know how to use it eh. E baka maghanap ng real thing. Hey, they're already having the real thing before they are even aware of this. So it's, that's not the problem. The problem is how to enjoy it at the right time, use in the right place. You can be irresponsible. You can be using it irresponsibly and enjoy. But, you know, it is really being exposed to it. And you can use it when you want. You don't have to use it. Nobody forces you. You're never under pressure to enjoy sex. I mean, parang okay lang. There are some who live and die and they have never experienced something yummy. <laughs> Lumabas na yung mga ganyan. So yung gulitas, which is uh, inilalagay pa siya. It's an operative procedure that's inserted inside the skin. Lang siya, yung pilik mata ng kambing. Yun! If you want to help change more life, don't forget to click the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel para updated kayo sa ating episodes at new content. Hello, mga kasama sa buhay, mga kasam buhay. Ako po si Tita Jing Castaneda. Mas kilala man po ako sa pagbabalita. Narinig ko rin kanina nung uh, kausap niyo po si Mayor Marcy ng Marikina. Kailangan talaga natututo tayo mula sa isa't isa eh. At sa seryosong mga bagay, maaasahan niyo rin po ako sa mga problemang pangkalusugan. Marami magtatanong <laughs> about PhilHealth and anong areas pa palagay ninyo pinaka makakatulong ang Nika. 
Isyong pampamilya. Um, ang priority namin right now is really taking care of our family. Importanteng advocacies. Para po mas kumita yung mga go tracer natin, yung mga technologies natin ay nakatugon sa animal health. At syempre, public service. Papasalamat ako, lalo na kay Sir Bob. Laking tulong ko talaga na nangangap po ako. Thank you so much, Auntie Jing, for this opportunity. Hindi naman ang magpapasa ng pag-asa. Kaya kung gusto ninyong makibalita, makipagkwentuhan, tumawa o makichika, samahan po ninyo ako sa aking Facebook, YouTube at Kumu Live. Napapanood din po tayo sa ABS-CBN TFC at sa Facebook page ng The Philippine Star. I-follow nyo rin ako ha at Jing Castaneda on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter at Kumu. Pamilya to with Tita Jing. Nakakahawa ang kilig mula sa mga TikTok videos na ito. This Feb Ibig, trending ang mga sweet and funny wedding proposals ng mga Pinoy online. Viral ang post ni Ms. Reyes kung saan buhat-buhat si Kuya ang hinimatay. Pero prank lang pala, lumuhod ng may singsing, flowers at banners at nag-propose na. Viral din ang cute dance challenge turned proposal na ito. Magti-tiktok lang sana, pero may ibang balak na pala si Kuya. Milk tea shop kasabwat sa proposal ng kanilang customer. Kitang-kita ang kilig ni ate sa proposal ng kanyang boy tea for 10 years. Meron pang gimmick na sa gitna ng picture taking, may pasingsing. Sa post naman ni Iris Gaso, ang pakulo ay dinaan sa laro. Dagdag saya pa ang sorpresang pagdating ng kanyang pamilya. Ang mga Pinoy talaga hindi nauubusan ng pakulo at kasiyahan basta para sa kanilang kasintahan. Hashtag Sana All. Let us know your thoughts sa mga viral wedding proposals na ito. And follow my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Kumu, and TikTok. More viral and funny videos ba ang hanap mo? Si Dita Jing na ang bahala dyan. Hanggang sa susunod na paghatid ng mga kwentong Trend Jing! Kasama po natin ngayon ang ating suki, ang napakagaling at napakabait at napakaganda. O, oh, Dok ha, ganda ng intro ko sa'yo. <laughs> Dok Sharon Mendoza at atin pong pag-uusapan ay sexual wellness pa rin. Sexual wellness, lalong-lalo na kaugnay nitong mga sex toys, Dok, no? Pero bago natin puntahan yun, ano muna ang halaga ng sexual intimacy sa isang relationship? Uh, siguro we will start with a disclaimer first mm -hmm. kasi... Uh, of course, I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. Meron tayong mga tinatawag na sex and relation uh, therapist na mm. talagang focus sa mga ganitong bagay. Mm. Pero siguro we can answer your questions based on the OBGYN side. Yes. No? So, yung tanong natin regarding sexual intimacy sa isang relasyon ng mag-asawa or couple, very important ito. Uh, we can say na may mga nare-release kasing hormones. Uh, specifically, oxytocin, mm. siya yung happy hormone na tinatawag. Uh, so, pag na-release siya during sexual intimacy, may mga portion sa brain natin na 
na nag-trigger ng sexual pleasure. Okay? So, uh, in turn, bumababa ang anxiety at saka ang stress. So, nagiging mas matibay ang relasyon ng isang mag-asawa pag laging merong sexual intimacy. Dok, pero yung sabi mo nga, importante sexual intimacy. Pero minsan, pag pagod na, di ba, busy, walang time para mag-sex, yung iba sinasabi, schedule nyo kasi. Okay ba yung nakaschedule? Uh, yung schedule kasi, depende sa communication talaga yan ng mag-asawa. So, very important na pinag-uusapan yun. Mm. Uh, for some couple, it works. Pag nabobor ka, Doc, is that normal? Or is that a red flag na may problema yung relationship? Uh, pwedeng hindi naman. Kasi minsan pagod din, o kaya merong ibang iniisip, o minsan may sakit, or merong uh, nagkukos ng anxiety sa family. Mm. So, we just have to divert. Okay, so yung itong mga sex toys sa tinatawag, mm. makakatulong ba to para mag, makadagdag ng excitement doon sa relationship? Minsan sa isang couple, nakakatulong din siya. Uh, but depende, we have to be open. So mm. yung, yung lalaki dapat open sa babae, yung babae dapat open. So that if they will have to use that to parang stimulate their sexual activity, that's mm -hmm. totally fine. May mga medical concern din ang kababaihan that we really have to use the, the vibrator. So, so tulad ng uh, history ng cervical cancer. Mm. So, may mga patients na nagtinatawag natin brachytherapy na after treatment, nagkoconstrict yung vaginal wall mm. nila. So, they would really be prescribed to use vibrators for that purpose para mm. kung maibsan na nila yung, yung cervical cancer nila, magaling na sila, yung future sexual, uh, uh, parang kakayanan nila, uh, mm -hmm. okay pa rin, hindi maapektuhan. Oh. So, yun yung advantage. May disadvantage ba? Is there such a thing as overusing the mm -hmm. vibrator or all of these sex toys? Uh, siguro, kailangan lang din uh, yung material ng ginagamit because we cannot use anything lang na mahagilap oh. mo. So, very important yung uh, parang may quality rin yung sex toys na ginagamit. Mm -hmm. Ano bang definition uh, ng masturbation? Well, uh, usually, well, masturbation kasi can be uh, as a single person uh -huh. or uh, as a couple pa rin. Mm -hmm. So, kung as a couple, tulad ng paggamit ng sex toys, it depends on sa usapan ng, ng mag-asawa, halimbawa. So, kung both of them consented, wala namang problema doon. So, kung sa as a single person, sabi nga natin, medyo parang innate sa isang Uh, lalaki o babae, mm. especially teen, teenagers, di ba? So, hindi naman siya masama kasi sometimes it's a, a means of exploring yourself. Mm. So, so anong, may technical term, may medical uh, definition ba ang masturbation? Well, a masturbation is like uh, having stimulation not, not related to sexual uh, mm. penetration. Parang mm. gano'n. Okay. So, do, kung kunyari ipapaliwanag natin, yes. so yan, mm. meron tayong mga props dito. Mm. <laughs> so, ano ba ang nasi-stimulate pag yes. ikaw ay either nagmamasturbate o pag ikaw ay nakikipag-sex, no? Mm -hmm. Sa medical kasi, medyo technical yung mga terms mm. kasi there are mga names ng muscles na maaring ma-stimulate para for sexual ano, nga satisfaction. Pero may mga naririnig tayo, so, so especially sa internet, mga mm. G-spot, A-spot, C-spot, mm -hmm. May use pa pa tayong na, nakita Dok, kanina. Dok, G lang ang alam ko. G lang. Hindi ako sa ESO. So, <laughs> tinangalanan lang sila, but these are really the areas na medyo sensitive, uh, well, specifically for the female. Hmm. So, for example, this is the uterus. Ito medyo sa loob na yan. Ang puson mo, nandito na. Hmm. No? And then, this is the vaginal area. Hmm. So, yung external, nandyan yung vulva. Okay. So, unahin natin yung C-spot because that's the clitoral area. Hmm. So, siguro sa male, parang yung, yung near nung shaft, nung penis. Mm -hmm. So, those are sensitive areas mm -hmm. na madaling ma-stimulate for orgasm. Ito, so, doc, siya yun? Wala siya dito eh, kasi wala yung external dito. Ah, so, vaginal okay. area na siya. So, behind that clitoris, if you enter the vaginal area and mm -hmm. parang nileter G mo yung kamay mo, mm -hmm. that's behind that external thing. Yun yung G spot. Mm -hmm. And then yung A, siguro baka kasi shape arrow siya. Uh, just above that cervix, ito yung cervix, yung pasukan. Siya yung nag-open pag nanganganak yung isang babae. Mm, okay. There's a muscle on top of that. So, meron din na si stimulate uh, pag na-penetrate yung area na yon. Mm. So, sometimes it's hard to reach using a finger of a female. So, baka male Kaya. or sex toy. Or sex toy. Um, yes. Okay, so yan ang na-stimulate. Yes. Pag nagbabibrate. Pag nagbabibrate or na-penetrate siya. Or, or tinatamaan. Mm, okay. Doc, so yung mga sinasabing fake 
ni Mrs. Mm. no yung orgasm. Mm. Paki-explain lang yung doc and also ibig sabihin ba problematic relationship kung kailangan mo mag-fake ng orgasm? Ah, uh, maraming pwede diyan sa sinasabing fake orgasm mm. eh. So, una, pwedeng may trust issues. Baka talagang may problema silang mag-asawa uh, na nangyayari 'yon. Sometimes, pwedeng merong hindi alam either no male or female na medical problem. Mm. Tapos hindi ka naman ibig sabihin fine fake mo for her or for him pero baka sarili mo rin eh. Hindi ka sigurado. So okay. pag gano'n na 'yung nangyayari, well sana rin na open nung partner sa isa para mas maungkat pa Oo. at matulungan din sila ma-resolve 'yung issue na 'yon. But it doesn't mean na uh, it's something na red flag sa relationship. Hmm. It could be something. So, so puntahan hmm. natin 'yung decreasing sex drives, di ba? Hmm. Baka kaya kasi nagpe-fake siya ng orgasm dahil bumababa yung sex drive niya. Yes. Uh, kadalasan nangyayari ito pag nagkakaedad na yung isang babae. Ah, babae yes. do? Ba- well, well, for me siguro, no? Saka sa point of view ng uh, OBGYN. Oh, yung lalaki ba? Hindi pwede rin, pwede rin sex drive pag tumatanda? Sa, pwede rin mangyari yun sa mga kalalakihan. Pero madalas sa kanila, yung mga may medical concern talaga yung nagde-decrease eh. Kaya pala sila kahit na 80, 90 years old, pwede pa makabuntis. Pwede pa makabuntis. Oo, makabuntis. <laughs> pwede pa. Daya so, do. Yes, nadaya ng konti. Pero uh, sa babae kasi, lalo na pag nag-reach ng menopause, hmm. meron talagang mga hormones na nade-deplete. Dok, mayroon ding mga lubricants eh. Mm-hmm. Para saan yung lubricants? Okay bang gamitin ng mga lubricants? Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro pwede rin natin i-relate dyan sa sex drive kasi may mga babae na hindi masyadong lubricated. Kahit bata pa? Kahit bata pa. Ah, okay. And it is related dun sa menstrual cycle. Kasi there's a particular part ng peak ng cycle mo, which is your ovulation, mm. na mas meron kang uh, discharge mm. na pangpadulas na sinasabi. Mm. Tapos may part just before getting your period na dry ka. So lubricants can help. It can even help prevent infection. Kasi mm. kung mapipilitan, magkakaroon ng contact, tapos dry ka, uh, ano yon prone sa vaginal infection. Kung parati ka mag-lubricant, okay lang din? Uh, what Walang we recommend issue. is water-based. Mm. Kasi may, we, we don't usually use baby oil, lotion, baka mm. ano pa. So most of the lubricants that we actually prescribe are water-based. Ah, bakit dok? Para less yung, ano, yung uh, irritation, uh, tsaka yung infection. So, ang baby oil at lotion, hindi pwedeng gamitin. We don't usually gamitin. recommend. Don't Makasa- usually. Makakasama yun. Baka makasama. So, Doc, balikan ko yung binanggit mo kanina, mm-hmm. no? yung masturbation. So, kahit mm-hmm. sabi mo, kahit single, mag-asawa, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kasama na dito, syempre, yung mga uh, miyembro ng LGBTQ yes. community, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. Mayroon ka bang payo, may tips ka ba, para maging, uh, lalo na sa paggamit ng mga sex toys, mm-hmm. para safe naman, no? So, ang importante lang, uh, of course, again, communication, nagkakaintindihan silang dalawa, and the use of that, kailangan nililinis palagi. Okay, paano linisin okay. do? So, normal cleansing with soap and water would do. You can use alcohol, pero syempre kung mag-alcohol, hindi immediate use yon kasi magiging mahapdi siya. So, after use yung alcohol, para parang ready na siya for use for the next time. You dispose of the condom. Baka pwede kang bigyan yeah. ng tips, no? Oo, oh, yung condom use, hindi po siya reusable. Hindi siya nilalaban at sinasampay. Mm. No? So, yung mga condom natin uh, is for one use only. Mm. Hindi ba, Doc, yung sa mga conservatives, no? Siyempre, mm. ang inaalala nila, baka isipin ng mga anak na you're encouraging uh, mm. sex, yes. lalo na premarital sex, di ba? Yeah, that's always an issue, eh. Pero kasi... Wala na tayong magagawa. I, I, I have lots of patients who come to us as early as 12, 13 buntis na. Wow, so, mas grabe, magandang no? sabihin mo na. So, using a sex toy, an option na kailangan mo explain? Sa kanila, uh, siguro pwede nating sabihin on the aspect na ito, ito yung mga pwedeng magamit but I, this is not for you. Parang ganon. And if you have to use them, you have to be open. So, age-appropriate toy. Yes, wala <laughs> ganyan siya. So, okay. Dok, yung mga lalaki, bulitas naman. Yes, actually, nung in the past, mm. sobrang tagal ng panahon, mm. lumabas na yung mga ganyan. So, yung bulitas, which is, uh, inilalagay pa siya, it's an operative procedure that's mm. inserted inside the skin. Mm. Ng siya, yung pilik mata ng kambing, etc. No? Mga ganyan. So, there are these things that uh, meron of even before the existence ng mga vibrators. Mm. Uh, there are some parang problems sometimes with the use of that. Kaya siguro halos nawala na siya sa market. Mm. 
because we get patients who are infected. Gawa saan yung gulitas? Uh, ano material? Metal. Some metal? Point, metal, yung iba metal. Uh, kasi yung usually ginagawa namin, itinatanggal yung infected. So sometimes sa uh, babae, pagpasok may mga parang infected na yung vaginal area. Parang okay. So ngayon, kahit nga condom, di ba, may rib na, mm. may ganyan na. So na- nag-evolve na. Pero safe uh, yung safe ngayon? Naman, yes. Okay. Meron bang, tinan mo ba ingredients sa likod, ganyan-ganyan? Uh, o... Siguro, in general, uh, you have to know what you are allergic to. So kahit condom, merong mga babaeng allergic sa latex. Mm. So kunyari, uh, gloves or ganyan. So same material sila. Uh, allergic can still exist. Mm. Okay. Even if you're conservative, it doesn't naman mean that you don't deserve pleasure. Um, Siyempre, paano, ka, paano kayo naging mommies, di ba? If you want to help change more lives, don't forget to click the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel para updated kayo sa ating episodes at new content. Ang bawat pamilya, laging may tita. May titang maalaga at mapagmahal sa pamilya. May seryoso, may komedyano. May masungit, may mabait. May career-oriented, may galante, may kuripot. Pero ano man ang inyong labeling, ang pamilyang Pilipino, may tita G. Ang tita na handang makinig at iyong masasandalan. Ang tita na loved by millennials. Ang titang laging may balita at showbiz chika. May tips para sa working mommy. Lambigay para kay daddy. Payo para kina ate at kuya. OFW na feeling lonely. Kunik ka sa akin. Trending issues? Kasali rin. Lifestyle, gardening at farming. In na in. Basta anything under the sun. Hashtag patok yan kay Tita G. ready na ang Filipinos ang, ang ating uh, kultura di ba sa ganitong mga Yes, sexoy? you will be surprised. There's so many women I'm sure who have not had the real mm. di ba the max. So kailan mo nagawa yun? That I accepted it from the very beginning. I said, "Hey, that's fun." And then I said, "Let's try." Mm. So doc, ikaw inaka rin, no? Yes. So paano mo ipapaliwanag ito sa mga anak mo? Mm. Uh, sabi mo nga, available siya online, no? So, paano kaya yung paggabay doon? Yeah, so yun yung medyo nakakatakot, di ba? Kasi minsan, na, na, commercial lang siya mm. sa isang video game na pinapanood. So, it has to be explained. Well, siguro, depende sa age level. Kung sobrang bata pa, you cannot watch that. Uh, it's for like uh, adults. Mm. O minsan, kung teenager na siguro yung anak mo, then you have to be open about it. No, a lot of people, hindi nila alam kung bakit kailangan gamitin ang loop. We also have this machismo na parang yung mga lalaki. Sus, di naman namin kailangan mm. yan. Eh. Pero, guys, I want you to know na it doesn't take away anything from you. In fact, mas may enjoy nyo pa if you try loop. Take it from me. Even if you're conservative, it doesn't naman mean that you don't deserve pleasure. Um, Siyempre, paano, ka, paano kayo naging mommies, di ba? So, itong mga items na to, um, saan nila mabibili? How do they look for it? May mga, kasi minsan, di ba, nahihiyang bumili, yes. nahihiyang magtanong. Oo. Oh, oh. mm. So, how do you address that? So, we have discreet shipping. Siyempre, alam naman amin yung Filipino, mm. kung paano mga Pinoy, di ba, nakakahiya. So, it mm. comes in a package box. Hindi mo makikita yung um, brand namin. It comes very discreet. Naka-wrap pa siya. And you can find us on our website, www.itsjellytime.com mm-hmm. or sa Shopee and sa Lazada. And we offer... Um, all our products there at a very affordable price. Sa ibang bansa o sa ibang kultura, eh, ordinaryo na po, no? Yung paggamit ng pleasure toys. 
para sa iba ay nagpapatibay ito ng pagsasama ng mga mag-partner. Maganda rin yung tips ni Doc Sharon. Sabi niya, in the end, it's a personal choice. Kung ito ay makatutulong para mas dumanda ang pagsasama ng mag-asawa o mag-partner, importante lang ipag-usapan para naman sa mga bata, eh, gabayan natin sila para maging tama no, yung kanilang pananaw pagdating sa sex at pati sa mga pleasure toys. Hindi rin po natin may aalis na meron pa rin talagang mga conservatives no, na hindi pa handa na gumamit ng pleasure toys. Ang mahalaga ay eh, nasa kamay pa rin ng mga magulang yung paggabay sa kanilang mga anak pagdating sa sex education. Hindi naman masama na buksan yung ating isipan sa mga bagay na nakapagbibigay ng sexual satisfaction at isa na nga po dito ay ang jelly time. Ang malinaw dito, lahat tayo ay may choice sa ating buhay. And it's best to keep an open mind. Until next episode, ako po si Jane Castaneda, ang inyong kasambuhay!